Alright, welcome back. Short live stream on the horizon. I want to briefly deal with this video that has gone viral. If you search this man's name, you'll see that within the past three days, there have been multiple articles. It's all over YouTube, etc. All the platforms. This guy got up in front of a church and made these statements. And I want to plug something that I don't believe anybody's talking about. Okay? It's, yeah, it's one of those things. You know there's no way you can keep your hands off of that. When I see that there's nobody pointing this out, nobody pointing this out, and I'm just itching, itching to point it out. So I'm not going to go in on his historical flaws, which are obvious. He's getting roasted. He's getting roasted on everywhere, everywhere, on, in, in every comment section. There's really no need, uh, but I even my, may do a little bit briefly. But I want to touch on some similarities that I see in his mentality and this nutter mentality okay bear with me i'm sure many of you have seen this if not brace yourself he made a lot of uh historical errors 150 years ago or 200 years ago when the blacks were slaves did they ever go to washington dc and have a rally 200 years ago to protest against slavery did they no what did they do? Well, a lot of good people in the plantations would say, hey, it's winter time. Let's, let us help build a church for you, dear folks. And they loved them and taught them how to read so they can read the Bible. And here's what the blacks did about 150 years ago. They humbled themselves. They prayed. They sought God's face and they turned from their wicked ways and God made slavery illegal through a several white presidents, right? It worked, didn't it? Okay, so this guy has gone viral. But you heard that part where he said that they loved him. Let me play that again. Plantations. Oh. Which a lot of good people in the plantations. Good people in the plantations meaning the owners and the overseers would say hey it's winter time let's ha let us help build a church for you dear folks and they <laughs> winter time let's build a church for you dear folks i don't understand that like for what to keep them warm are they currently living outside right now why why what's the correlation between winter and a church why is a church necessary because of the winter? I didn't understand that. Uh, <laughs> I had to point that out too. Loved them and taught them how to read so they can read the Bible. He said that the plantation owners and overseers loved their slaves and taught them how to read so that they could read the Bible. Now, here's the scary thing. He has rationalized this in his head right now in 2023. He rationalized that they loved their slaves. In real time, I, I don't think he's talking about the mindset of the plantation owner at the time. He, he said that as if that's what he believes. He said he loved them. <laughs> Here, let me back it up. Folks, and they loved them and taught them how to read so they can read the Bible. And taught them how to read so they can read the Bible. Now, as far as I know, it was illegal to read after so many rebellions. There was one major rebellion where they just outlawed uh, reading. It was, it was real bad. And there were multiple and this guy said that 
blacks were not protesting. So he messed history up real bad. I know, I know, I know. I understand that. I understand that. Blacks were not protesting nothing during slavery. That's the whole point of slavery. So he wasn't even speaking in line with the definition of slavery. Okay, but that's not the point. What I want to point out that I don't see anybody point out is the fact that he rationalized that right now. This misunderstanding of what love is, is baffling to me. It truly is. And you see what it gets you. Both will result in harming other people when you misconstrue or have a, a improper definition of what love is. Right? You don't enslave people you love, obviously. And you don't own and castrate and do all the other things to things you love. Right? And these things don't love you. That's not love. It's not a love relationship. What's the confusion about what love is? It's not complicated. It's not complicated. It's very basic. Protect your family. What is complicated about that? I'm not speaking rocket science. That's the crazy part about this. This whole crusade. It is so basic because you are so far out of line of basic function and operation. That's what proves the primitiveness. That you're out of line with your basic function. <laughs> what do they call it? Modus operandi or whatever. This is a problem. This complete confusion of what love or how love is expressed. I would imagine you have the wrong definition if you don't even understand how it's ex expressed. Whether you understand or not, whether you know or not, or believe or not, the result is all that matters. What does it lead to? Does it lead to people having a safer, prolonged life, healthier life? or more endangered existence and unhealthy. And, and that's the latter with this Nutter culture as it was there's because I have no doubt that there were people during that time who would say that, that yeah, I love my slaves. That was common. That was common. There's been black leaders who pointed out that there have been slaves who love their slave masters. That's nothing new. But this man rationalized it and just believed it and said it like that. Proving that right now, he has no idea what love is or how it is expressed. No idea at all. <laughs> I'm sorry, I do not want to live next door to somebody like this. I mean, I, if, if it's this easy for him to dehumanize you, why would I want to live next door? <laughs> That's exactly the guy who will chop you up into several different little pieces, right? And have you in a bag somewhere in a trash can. Help us all. I always love these short live streams. Uh, I'm going to have fun on this channel, making them. Uh, it sort of puts me in a, a hurry or rushes me to get as much in as possible. <laughs> I also feel like this is a, a, a sort of semi-funny uh, way of looking at it as it relates to this uh, nutter culture but uh yeah it never hurts to draw the the associations between something that goes viral as it's still going viral so yeah maybe a cheap plug whatever hope you get the point and i hope to see you back on the next live stream as we continue with this crusade